So we are in the unity scene and so we're going to use the tan map system for adding creating maps. Okay, so you, so it's not too much difficult, just you need first thing you need to go window and just go 2D and just type padlets. Okay. But if this option is not eligible in your version on anything, so it's is real cases, but so you simply go to package manager. If not, this will not is able to use. Okay, and download the 2D time editor. I'm going to be offline so I can't open the packet manager, but just download the 2D tile map editor from this packet manager. Then after downloading the package, close the window and go back to window and 2D. And just go get the options. Okay, so just click this option and it asks for creating a new tile. And just click create new tile padlet and new. So you can name anything you want. I'm going to read anything just I'm going to create okay so it's asking the place where to store them I'm going to create a new folder for it okay and the name is uh, tiles so you can name this tiles you can name anything you want and just select folder okay yes now it's saying to drag the tiles sprite or texture anything so we need the tiles so we are for this video we're going to simply add the simple tiles very simple very simple map but Further, you can add more things if you want. So, for, so here we have our we have Canny Assist Two, PNG, and just we use current I think we're using Retina. So I'm going to write Retina. Okay. So there's a many tiles. You can look, we need this kind all these tiles. So I'm going to simply drag and drop. No, I'm not going to all drag all of these, but I. Okay, expected triangle or the flash. I'm going to or bullets. I drag everything you need, everything for the map creation. But I'm going to add some very simple taxes, glasses, glasses too, and roads. Something simply like that. Okay. And just I'm going to select all of them by pressing shift and just drag and drop here okay, and here. And you ask from this material where we need to store the tiles and select tiles and select folder. Is going to generating the tiles. Now, I'm going to drag and drop the tiles here so I can drag them back to the assets. And now, if we select this tile, so we need something to place them. Now, as something like green or something like this. Okay. So we're simply going to right click here, go 2D object, and create a tile map. Now it's going to create a new tile map. You can say tile map. So, so there are many, many options. You can focus on what thing. So I think none is okay. And tile maps. Okay, currently the not showing your tiles here. The all grid line does not come out. So, it, for me, but it's not a problem. I just need to play the tiles. Okay, so I'm going to simply select these tiles, and now I'm going to drag and drop this. You're going to select this. I'm going to create a tiles. I can also use this option then. Create like by selecting the tiles and create all of them. Okay, so I think this use feature is useful. I'm going to just drag and drop all of them. Okay. So if you want to create a rows for them, so you can create easily, okay. But I just make green okay, from green. If, okay, good looking good. Now, what if I wanted to place trees? Now, so I'm going to do in the same position and drag the trees also here. Now back to Canvas Store, PNG, Retina, and we're going to choose tree. So I'm going to drag this tree also here. Okay, tiles and tiles. Okay. And okay, save. Yes, it's going to drag the tiles here, and I want to also drag this to here. Okay, okay, and it says tiles open save here. Okay, so you're going to create tiles now. It one more thing like if you look this, the, these tiles are not like this sprite does not fit completely in tiles. No, the reason why because it's much bigger than one, much bigger than one box. Okay. So what if, if I select this this part and going to drag and drop here, okay, here, is, so I can create I can create a trees, okay, 
and I'm going to also delete it. This part, this part. But this problem is that um, there's a small problem is that we need also need to add the colliders, and you can also look. It's going to create a gap here. So I wanted to create at the tree above the ground. So this in this case, we want to go, what we going going to do here. I'm going to create a new tile map in, into this grid. Okay. No, 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 not this grid. I'm going to here to the object and tile map. Okay. Now, if you go back to the grid, so we're going to tile map. You here you can look the order in layer. Make it zero and just make this grid order in layer to one. Okay, one, two, three, anything. Okay, I think two. And so this tile going to get at has some trees. So we're going to add the tile map colliders. Okay, so tile map colliders. And just leave it as this. Don't do anything. And go by select then select this tile and then you can add the trees. Like I wanted to place the tree some here. Here. Now look is going to get above the and I want to just Now, if we move them, I play this game, and if I move this area, and okay, okay, so I can't see. Look, it's automated get collide. Okay, the collider is working, but the camera is not going. But still, it's working. Collide because there are some colliders here, and our tank does not penetrate this surface. Okay, back to the normal. And now, so we created the map. Though, so map is getting not too much tough if I using diamond clause is very fast and good way. And also add some more tiles here. The reason why because we are going to add add some camera, so it does not look outside the map. Okay, so you okay, nice. So guys, we're done with the map part and let's move on the camera. So for camera, we're going to download the sim machine package from the package manager. So we're going to first go to the window and package manager. Now for package manager, search here sim machine and you get the option sim machine. Okay, okay, just install this sim machine package from the package manager. Install it now and close the package manager window. Okay, if you look up here, you find a sim machine menu here. Okay, if you click here, you can get many options for creating camera. So we're going to select a 2D camera. Okay, so it automatically create a new create a new game of this CM VCAM one and add a new component to a camera, main camera sim brain. Okay, so so we're going to select this camera and I'm going to go to the follow part and just drag and drop the tank rim in the follow slot okay so it's going to follow our tank now i'm going to go to the lens part here and i'm going to decrease the orthographic range okay like something this okay now i'm going to think five is okay right and you can also have many options you can rotate the view if you want so just leave it to zero. It's good op size. I'm going to leave it to more four. Okay, so it there's a look at timing. So it's going to if you play this game and I'm going to play the game suits. And if I'm going to move, so it's going to I will look at move after zero point zero seven seconds. Okay, so okay, I'm going to reach to zero. I think center one is good. Okay, so you go automatically going to follow over the tank without writing any scripts everything looks okay you can there are a bunch of us options we try it on your and play these options and that's it for this video in our next video we go i'm going to add the enemy ai so we can because this tank is really lonely and we need some enemies also so hit the subscribe button if you want it so you don't miss the upcoming video if you like this tutorial hit the like button and we meet in as venue thanks for watching